uh, say we are moving from Norway to Iceland and we know there's not enough timber in Iceland, we might take down our house in Norway right. and take all the timbers with us. Yeah, this is Icelandic style because I have this instead of heddle supports. And it does have a name in Icelandic, but I cannot pronounce Icelandic. So. <laughs> I started weaving Icelandic style because I had my previous version of this loom at Golf NATO and uh, the people who rescued my loom when the spin weave tent went down um, got some parts separated from it including the heddle supports and I wanted to finish the piece I was working on so I decided I'd weave Icelandic style and then when I tried it I found out that for twill which was what I was working on it actually works a lot better. So then I decided that I'd just make my new loom Icelandic style. Though it would be easy enough to change it if I wanted to because all I'd have to do would be get some head supports and put them in those holes. This method of doing the shuttle I learned when I was uh, in Denmark at the Roskilde Viking Museum. I tried, before that, I always tried using um, the stick shuttles that are made for other looms, and I always had problems that I'd keep catching the ends of the sticks in, in the warps. And then I was watching a woman who was weaving sails at the Roskilde Viking Museum, and she was using a stick shuttle like this, and I decided when I came home that I was going to make stick shuttles and do it that way. It has to fit in this section of the tent, which is only four feet wide, so the actual weaving width of this loom is less than four feet, which is small for a warp weighted loom, but done necessary because of trying to fit it into my portable Viking house. Yeah, the Sami in tents weave uh, bed covers which are about five feet wide, so their looms have to be much larger. And you sometimes see pictures of two Sami women working together with a larger warp weighted loom because it is kind of hard to pass the shuttle if you get it beyond your arm. <laughs> the pattern that I just completed is called Hag's Teeth. And uh, it's a very simple pattern because you make the vertical stripe part by just uh, alternating. Uh, in one shed you always put one color and in the other shed you always put the other color. And that makes this really pretty striking but it's a very simple pattern. Now I've got to decide what pattern I'm going to weave next. I don't have a definite plan for this. This is rug yarn and it's um, linen warp and so it's going to be something that's more like a rug than a piece of clothing and so it doesn't really matter I'm going to weave until I run out of warp and then decide what to do with it. 